fountain spouting green water at the White House? Is it a horrible toxic spill? A remnant of last week's coal ash sludge spill in the Potomac? No, this is thanks to First Lady Michelle Obama, who was inspired by her hometown Chicago's tradition of dyeing the river green for St. Patrick's Day. And tonight we are celebrating uh, with a special St. Patty's Day cocktail moment. Helping us celebrate is the king of cocktails, master mixologist Dale DeGroff. Dale is the author of the book, The Essential Cocktail. Dale, thank you so much for being here. It is so nice to see you. I am absolutely delighted to make the inaugural cocktail on the Rachel Maddow Show. It is true. <laughs> also, you'll have to talk about counterinsurgency. Oh my but God. But we'll start with this. I'm gonna start with coffee in these nicely warmed mugs. It will have sugar cubes in the bottom. We're gonna make the world famous Irish coffee. And I'm making it in three glasses that are perfect for making because these glasses are the right size and they force you to make a great cocktail. Why? Because you can't put too much coffee. Uh -huh. If you put too much coffee, you drown the Irish whiskey and the whole gig is off. So okay. what we're going to do is put the shot last after I've had a chance to dissolve these babies. Uh, and so we're looking at like a six ounce glass uh, maybe? Yeah, no more than six to eight ounces, no more. Okay. We want to fit that nice ounce and a half. Let's get the sugar nicely dissolved. Let's do our Irish whiskey. And the cream is the fun part. The cream just lays on top. The whole idea of this is a perfect de delineation between black and white. This little beauty was created in Foyne's Field during the Second World War by Joe Sheridan, who was a chef. Okay. And he used to make this when it was nasty and cold and foggy for the arriving. The only way you can get into Europe was through Foyne's Field on a flying boat. And it was so nasty all the time <gasps> that Joe, look at that beautiful, just laying right I could on there, never do that. Like a cloud. If you whip it just right so that it's got enough air to float, but not so much. Is this whipping that, cream or is it just whipping cream? Just yeah. whipping cream. So okay, so you, you don't want to beat it so it's stiff. Exactly. Now in the home, you might want to just use a white wine glass, the one on the end, because you probably don't have all these fancy glasses. That'll work just fine. It's oh, exactly the right size. Spectacular. And I'm going to give you the pretty one. Oh, thank you. I never get the and pretty one. Kent, I'm going to give you the largest one. Can I check That's in with the, product, with the producers? Am I allowed to take a sip of this? Are we allowed? Yes. Oh boy. Cheers. 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 I have another quick one if you'd like. Oh yes, please. Mm. I know you're in a hurry, so let me do this. It's half Irish. No, it's okay. I feel suddenly very relaxed. <laughs> half, <laughs> half really good Irish whiskey and half Irish mist. And we're going to shake them together, but I'd like you to do that if you don't mind, because I know you're an expert cocktail maker. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> okay, here we go. You made her very happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking Neil DeGrasse cocktail shaker right now. Oh, my God. I have the strainer right here. That's good. We're cooking. And I'm going to break the seal. You yep. know how to do it, though. No, I know. You're, yeah. yeah, I defer to the master. Here we go. Let's just. This is going to get a little layer. It's a cold, coffeeless Irish coffee called the Dubliner. And I did this in Prague, where they told me the cream didn't whip up properly, but they were just lazy bartenders. Look at that baby. <laughs> you made this in. You made this in the Czech Republic, and they were like, "No, we don't whip." Guy. Yeah, well, they were just too lazy to do it. Tell me what this is called again. It's called the Dubliner. Actually, oh, I called God, it Molly's Milk good. after the name of the bar, but I thought Dubliner sounded better when I got back here. Isn't that delicious? Oh, that's spectacular. I think that I have a problem with hot cocktails. I think that I Drink think... Drink them too fast. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. I, something about cold feels like, oh, this is right and this is wrong, but this is delicious. It I've got to right. get around to this. And easy to make. It's just a cup of coffee with a shot. Cup of coffee, shot of Jameson's, and then lightly whipped... Cream. No sugar in the cream, sugar in the coffee. And so does it get sweeter as you drink it down? Sort of. Isn't that good? So what Just about like the, life should, I think. <laughs> what about the, the, so the Buena Vista in San Francisco yes. lays claim to the original. Well, Stanton Delaplane found this in, in, in Foyne's Field, actually in Shannon Airport then, and he brought back this guy named Jack Copler who owned the, the bar at that time. He learned they the drink in the over. airport? That he learned it in Shannon Airport. And he brought it back and he said, you got to do this. Well, by 1960, they'd sold about 30 million of them. I think they made a pretty good choice. Oh, my God. They're still making thousands a day. It's the, it's the uh, whole deal over but there. But the it's Dubliner the, is your own. That's my own. Tell me the proportions again. Half and half. Half and half of Jameson and, and Irish Mist. Irish Mist, yeah. And then you top it up it's with the whipped cream. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Look at this. It's beautiful. Dale DeGroff, um, you're very, very fancy. You've changed the way the country drinks for the Thank better. You so much. Thank Fantastic. you very much. Enjoy responsibly. I want to say happy um, St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Dale's book is called The Essential Cocktail, The Art of Mixing Perfect Drinks. We have a link to Dale's website with his Irish coffee recipe on our website, rachel.msnbc.com. Cheers, everybody. Thank you for watching tonight. We will see you here tomorrow night. Countdown with Mr. Keith Olbermann starts right now. Have a great one.